All right, Junkie Nation, he's back. Gorgeous George and goes to track down Georgie Karakanyan. We just talked to him a few weeks ago but over that big win against Kiefer Crosby. And now the guy's breaking a sweat, a training camp sweat, a weight cut sweat, because he's dialed in in one week from tomorrow, Saturday, September 18th. He faces Saul Rogers at Bellator 266. Welcome back, Georgie. How you doing? Good, good, guys. Thank, thank you for having me. Man, you don't believe in kicking back, letting the summer play out? You're a Cali boy. You're not in Montana or some jacked up place. You can go to the beach, relax a little bit, and instead you're in another fight camp. You're in a sweaty, smelly gym. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just I just finished uh, training with uh, with Coach Greg from High Performance Motors, so uh, he's putting me through all kinds of training. So, uh, you know, we stay ready year-round, but, uh, you know, I didn't take no time off from my last fight. Uh, I'm just uh, ready. And I've been, I've been saying this, you know, during all this time, what's going on with the world, uh, real fighters will stay ready. And I'm one of the real fighters and I always stay ready. And I'm looking for that phone call, you know, they call me. So I'm here fighting next week. What made the offer too good to resist? Because, again, you fought six weeks ago. You're three and one in the lightweight division. You're pushing to get these big fights to lead to a title shot. So this isn't an optimal type of training camp. I think you partly answered it right now. You always stay ready, but what was it about the call where you knew you had to jump on this one? Well, I got the call uh, last Friday. I got the call last Friday. Uh, they're like, listen, uh, Adam Piccolotti is injured. Uh, he got a cut, so do you want to take this fight? I was like, yeah, send me the contract. And I waited two days because they, they were asking his team, and they're like, yeah, we're waiting to see if they're going to take it. But, you know, I've, I've been uh, – I've been helping uh, Brian Ortega. I've been training with those guys. He's fine, Alex Volkanovsky. So uh, I went that night, sparred with them to see how I feel. And I felt good. I did seven rounds with him, uh, no problem. And uh, like I said, I'm just ready. I think uh, Saul is a great fighter. Um, watched his fights in uh, Ultimate Fighter. Watched his last two fights against Matt Bernal and Daniel Vacho. So I did my tape work. I just think uh, I just match up well with anyone they offer me. So. That's why I took this fight. Interesting. I was just about to ask that. Have you ever trained with him, or did you watch enough footage where you just go, I, I got this guy. I'm confident this is a sound decision. Yeah, you know, it's. Uh, I think all of us fighters that go in there, we go in the confidence to beat the shit out of each other. We go in there with the confidence that we're going to win. But uh, I just feel I just feel good, man. I just feel ready. I just feel like the old Georgie, and, uh, and I'm just going to take all these fights, you know. They were telling me that I'm not going to be in a Russia card. Like, I said, I'll be ready. Call me. I'll be ready. Anyone falls apart, anyone gets a, uh, you know, can make it or gets injured, call me. You know, you can count on me. And, and they call me. And this, this is actually my last fight on the contract. So uh, I'm looking forward to putting an exciting uh, fight for uh, Doc Coker. And then we negotiate a new deal. Did you say you already knew you weren't going to be on the Russia card? Yeah. So they told oh. me. You're not going to find a Russia card. That card is full. I tried to get on the, the England card, but uh, they said, no, that one is full too. Just to go beat up that Alfie kid that's talking shit. But uh, <laughs> you know, I, I told him, I said, listen, I know you have Peter Cooley fighting Patricky. Uh, if any of them gets injured too, count me in. But uh, like I said, this is my last fight. I'm going to do all I can to get the finish, to get an exciting finish. So, you know, that way they can pay double or a little bit more, you know. That's what I'm looking for. Will your preference be if you become a free agent to stay with Bellator or do you feel like it starts over and you listen to every pitch fair and square? Uh, Bellator always been my home. Uh, Scott Coker, everyone at Bellator have been really cool with me. Uh, this is my 19th fight actually with Bellator. So, wow. you know, me, me, uh, me asking to get double what I'm making right now, it's nothing. I know they paid big money to a lot of fighters, but I wouldn't mind shopping around. Let's see what's going on too. But you know, I like I said, I want to go for a title, and you know, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go for a title one. I know that for sure. Georgie, I saw you post something a Hickson Gracie quote that I like about staying calm. Um, is that something that you feel you've now been able to master? And how long do you feel like it's taken you to get to that point? Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, talking about the Hickson Gracie. You know, his new book, Breathe. It's an extremely good book. Uh, I feel like, you know, he talks in a book about uh, uh, finding ways to breathe, 
that's what you know made him different fighter and me i'm the same way like i learn um how to breathe during a fight i uh you know i'm i'm certified master instructor for oxygen advantage where it teaches you how to breathe through your nose and stuff like that i'm also big on wim Hof breathing and stuff like that and ice baths but you know just a lot of things diet change that change but uh yeah, you know, that's extremely important, especially uh, during the fight to stay calm. And I, I always been that fighter, like, you know, back in back in the young days, I was really calm and just destroy whoever they put in front of me. So it's it's a big factor. I mean, we've talked about some of the changes in your life. Uh, where, do you, where do you feel all that comes from? Do you feel like that's the real Georgie Karakanyan coming out? Or does this feel almost like a rebirth of Georgie Karakanyan now? I, I guess it's the rebirth 2.0 or something. Uh, just, you know, I'm just always trying to improve. Always, always. And this sport is growing. And I feel like I was stuck for a few years. I was stuck. I wasn't performing well. I wasn't putting the trigger. And I, I, I don't like those, you know. And uh, my last few fights, I kind of showed I'm back. I go for finishes. And, you know, that's me. I always like to go for finish. Uh Submission is a little bit harder to get it because you got to work for it. But, you know, it's, it's a satisfying feeling to make another man tap. So uh, I like knockouts too. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm always trying to improve. Always trying to have people around me push me to get uncomfortable, you know. So, yeah. One day you're going to make a scary head coach. I don't know if your plans to stay in MMA, <laughs> but i know that you have a house at seven thousand feet altitude so road work would be a bitch i know you love soccer kicks so if someone gets out of line someone's getting some teeth knocked out um you're a really really cool dude but man i'd hate to piss you off in practice like i said <laughs> one day when you when you're running the show you know no no thank you i mean I'm, I'm pretty strict with the kids i just try to show them discipline and you know, just teach him a lot of stuff. You know, if, if you're disciplined and you're hard on yourself, no one has to, you know, no one has to be hard on you. You know, you could be working hard. That's that's the one thing. You got to learn how to work hard. And that's what I push the kids. Who's your soccer team again? Is it Real Madrid? You know what? Barcelona? No, Messi left. And I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty upset he left. <laughs> uh, right now, I would say Juve, Juventus. Oh, what do you, what, which one are you, what do you win? Oh, uh, Chelsea? <laughs> Manchester United. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, is Cristiano going back there? He's back, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, okay. Then I might have to pull out of the Juventus because I was going for Juventus because he was there. But uh, I'm going to stick with Barca. I'm a Barca fan for life. He just, you just told us he lost Messi. And, I know, uh, but I got to go with Barca. I mean, Barca is going to pick up somebody else, pretty, pretty sure. Oh, that man, would always be. I, don't I know. thought we had you. Got Ronaldo, but, you know. They got Ronaldo. They got Sancho from Dortmund. They got Rafael Varane from uh, Real Madrid, plus all the young talent that they have. You may want to reconsider. I'm telling you. <laughs> you have 24 hours because tomorrow is Ronaldo's debut on USA Network oh, at right. 7 a.m. So if you're an early riser, catch it. The world is going to be watching. Um, just send us a text or a tweet that says, I'm in. But you got to make the cutoff of 7 a.m. You can't watch the game, and then all of a sudden, if they win 5 nothing, then you're in, because then you're a bandwagon. No, I, I wake up around 5 or 4. So I wake up every day at 5 or 4, so it's no problem. I'll watch it. Think it over. Think it over. Go look at Barcelona's little cheap squad that they got. No messy. <laughs> They're in financial trouble. And then go look at Man U's squad, and, and it should be a slam dunk. Are we making a bet? Didn't I already give you the shirt? No, no, no. You never give me the shirt. <laughs> Okay, I'll give. I'll, I will make do on the shirt, and I'll put together a nice, uh, <laughs> a nice package, you know, of stuff. But um, trust me, it's going to be a fun run, man. Ronaldo's going to be with us for two to four years. We'll see. We'll see how he performs. I mean, he's a great, 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 great player. He takes care of his body, and he's on top, you know. But uh, it's it's good. Is he still number seven? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because Edison Cavani. Um, who came from Paris Saint Germain last year? He uh, he was number seven, but he gave up number seven for CR seven, and so he's going to become twenty one. I forgot to mention Edison Cavani; he's awesome too. Yeah, he's good. He's pretty good. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. They have a good team. I don't know how they'll do against PSG, but I'm really curious. 
Last time they locked up, they they beat they knocked out PSG out of the Champions League like two years ago. Yeah, we got a bet. We got a bet. Who who they play tomorrow? Who, who they playing tomorrow? Tomorrow they play Newcastle, English Premier League. Ah uh, shoot, this should this should be good. But they're probably gonna win most likely. I'm pretty sure. All right, Castle. think about it, and thank you for squeezing us in before the fight next Saturday. September 18th, catch Georgie Caracanyan against Saul Rogers on Showtime, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Georgie's going for his fourth out of fifth win at the lightweight division. He wants to strike and get a shot against Pitbull, the champ. Always a pleasure, Georgie. You're awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys.